All right, your next comment coming to stage. Please keep up that energy for Johnny Cook. Yeah. Well, did it again. Same story every single year. What are we, like uh, three weeks to Halloween? I haven't even bought razor blades yet. <laughs> As usual, I'm the oldest, fattest guy in here. <laughs> Got to go on a real diet this time. Yeah, and no more uh, fake shortcuts you read about in magazines. I tried this one. Uh, uh, oh, if you have to go to a restaurant, just eat a child's portion. <laughs> Kid told the manager I almost got arrested. <laughs> Always oh, getting in trouble at restaurants. I was in this nice uh, Mexican place one time. Whole section of the menu, niños, niños, niños. Well, I should have known that niños means... Little boy. Children's, yes. I was looking at the children's menu. I thought it was especially the house. <laughs> hey, Carlos, bring me one of your niños. <laughs> one of the really hot ones. <laughs> Carlos beat the hell out of me. <laughs> that guy from the kitchen came over, offered me one for two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, man, I'm not that hungry. Go home, have the wife whip me up something. <laughs> Actually, who can afford restaurants these days except for this place? I mean, food is so expensive. Every time I go out, I always get a doggy bag. You got to economize. Last time I went to a restaurant, I bought a doggy bag home with just three french fries, two forks, and a salt shaker. <laughs> of course, it, uh, it takes more than uh, diet to lose weight. You gotta exercise. In my neighborhood, everybody walks their dog. Go out there around twilight, the whole neighborhood's out there with their dog in one hand, their little waist bag in the other. Now, that's a start, that's decent exercise. I don't have a dog, so I just walk around with a bag of crap. <laughs> we don't expect me to leave that in the neighbor's yard, do you? <laughs> well, maybe if it's really dark. Well, uh, yeah, I'm fat. I'm also old. I'm, I'm in my 50s. Of course, you know my attitude. 50 is the new 30. <laughs> and 55 is the new dead. Uh, let's see, Kevin mentioned midlife crisis. I thought midlife crisis would spice things up for me. Didn't work out, no. Bought the little foreign sports car. Nah, people saw me driving a tiny car like that with the top down. They thought I was Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> but the important thing is family. This month my wife and I will be marking, this is true, 14 wonderful years of marriage. Right. And the last date, which have been a living hell. <laughs> Actually, my wife, a uh, very patient woman, puts up with a lot, yeah. Caught me having phone sex one time, and that was awful. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine, no man wants his wife to hear him when he's, you know, reading out his credit card number. <laughs> I don't have fun sets. Okay, I tried it. I just couldn't pull it off. <laughs> I had too many hang-ups. <laughs> I could time out. I've been doing that stupid pun for about six years. Uh, I was in a truck stop. I saw the, a version of that joke on the cover of Forum magazine. Forum. Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah, she puts up with a lot. She uh, found out I'd paid for an hour with an escort service, thought she was finally going to kick me out because I didn't get a refund for the 59 minutes she knew I didn't use. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm not into phone sex. I'm not into uh, escort service. You know what I am into, though? I've always kind of liked the big women. In fact, 
fact, I used to be kind of a freak. <laughs> Got a very young crowd here. We've established that. Any of you ever hear of a lady named Cass Elliot? Yes. Mama Cass? Back in the day, I sent her hundreds of letters. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd address them to my darling songbird. Tell her what a great singer she was and how turned on I was by her morbid obesity. <laughs> Big fat hippo with thighs. Thing is, she never got the letters. Celebrity address book was all screwed up. All the Mama Cass letters went to some other singer. Her name was... Um, Karen Carpenter. <laughs> what? No harm done. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're too young to get that. Uh, my name's Johnny Cook. Thank you very much. A Mama Cass and Karen Carpenter joke in one sentence. It's kind of ironic. One uh, died eating and the other one died not eating. Sad. <laughs> 14 years of marriage. Congratulations. I didn't know mail order brides stayed around that long. Your next comment.